Daisy, the diesel rail cars cunt, was full of demon. She was frightened of bulls, and she remained very lazy and stubborn. One day, Toby brought Henrietta to the station, where Percy was grumpily shunting. Hello, Percy. I see Percy has left the milk again. I'll have to make a special picnic supper of fish and chips with it, I suppose. Anyone would think I'd nothing to do, grumbled Percy. Tell you what, replied Toby, I'll take the milk. You've had nothing to do. The drivers and the station master agreed. Percy had never been to the quarry before. This new truck never shut up. He said he was gay. His brain is a rough. The trucks giggle so stuffy. How is like I like this? Could stop. I am too ugly. Rubbish, said Tom. Your gay truck. You're always beautiful. Hey, what about for the coupling? It's only five, five, five coins. He began ordering the trucks about. Hurry along, he said. The trucks grumbled to each other. This is Toby's place. Percy's got no right to poke his funnel up here and push us around. They whispered and passed the word. Down with Percy! Down with Percy! Come along, puff Percy. No nonsense. We'll give him nonsense, giggled the trucks. But they followed so quietly that Percy, Percy thought they were dead of his gay, stupid little cubs. He is a silly little engine. You see, Percy is gay, stupid little cunt. Oh, Percy, Percy, Percy! Suddenly they saw a notice ahead. This is gay notice. Peep, peep, peep! Brakes, guard, please. Fuck you, said guard. But before he could check them, the truck surged forward. On, on! They cried, "Help, help!" Whistled Percy. The man on duty at the crossing rushed to warn traffic with his red flag, but was too late to switch Percy to the runaway siding. Frantically trying to grip the rails, Percy slid into the yard. Peep, peep! Look out! I am essential. The brake van was in smithereens. Percy's driver and fireman had jumped clear. But Percy was stranded. Next day, the fat controller arrived. Toby and Daisy had helped to clear the wreckage, but Percy remained on his perch of trucks. Where's your cow catcher? My cot. We must now try, said the fat controller, to run the branch line with Toby and a diesel. You have put us in an awkward predicament. I am sorry, sir, replied Percy. You can stay there for always and always and always. Perhaps it will teach you to be careful with trucks. Percy sighed. The trucks groaned beneath his dick. He quite understood about awkward predicaments. <coughs> the fat controller spoke severely to Daisy, too. My engines work hard. I send lazy engines away. Daisy was ashamed. However, Toby says you worked hard after Percy's accident, so you shall have another chance. Thank you, sir, said Daisy. You shall have my assist. Leave. Next day, Thomas came back. And Percy was sent to be scrapped. No! Annie and Clarabel were delighted to see Thomas again and he took them from behind at once. That shows you, doesn't it? No! Fuck you! <laughs>